Hi, my name is Giuseppe Percivati, but as an artist, I use Pepe Gaka. The reason behind it is because I've been living abroad for about 10 years. I used to live in Japan, Australia, New Zealand, then Canada and the USA. And pretty much no one can spell my name and surname correctly. Because of that, I just decided to use Pepe Gaka. So Pepe is one of the many nicknames for Giuseppe. And Gaka means painter in Japanese. So it's basically Pepe the painter. Like a full-time artist for the last 10 years. And in the last four or five years, I've been focusing on street art and especially mural art. When I create a mural, what I prefer to do is to basically try to be able to swift between different styles and subjects and techniques based on where I'm creating the mural. So if I was to create a mural in an underpass, I wouldn't use the same style that I would use on a skyscraper, which wouldn't be the same style which I would use in, on a countryside house. So because of that, I always try to create something that has some connection with the location, with the people living in there, with the history, but even with the, the present situation of, of the place and even potentially with the future situation of, of that, that location. Now, in this case, we are in um, Pinerolo, in the province of Torino, which is even my hometown. We are in a farm, so this is a traditional Piemontese style uh, family farm. This was a farm, and this is still a farm. They have sheep, they have goats, they have chickens, they have ducks, vegetable gardens. Because of that, I wanted the subject to be connected to the location. And I choose a rooster. Well, first of all, because I do have chickens as well. I find them beautiful animals. I find them interesting. I find them much more intelligent than people uh, may think. So I just get a cup of coffee. Uh, just a bit. And for these murals, I use System 3 Fluid Acrylic. The reason I use them is, well, there's actually several reasons. The first reason is because it's a very durable acrylic paint. So it's light fasting. That means that it can withhold the rain, freezing temperatures and the sun. So the color is not gonna fade over time, which it is one of the most important things when you're creating something outside. As a mural, you do want the colors to look beautiful, you know, for the next five, 10, 15, 20, 25 years, even longer if you can. The second reason is because, as the name says, they're called System 3 Fluid. It's fluid, but it's not liquid. It's fluid enough that you can paint with it. You don't have to thin it down with water. I mean, unless you want. But it's fluid enough that goes in the small cracks that you have in the walls. It goes feeling all of them, pretty much no effort. But at the same time, it's not liquid, so you're not gonna have the paint dripping. If you want to thin it down, you actually can. So what I did, for example, the, the rooster itself, I use color is called Phthalo Turquoise. What I did is I thin it down with water and basically I use the same technique that you use on watercolors, where you have multiple layers of thin down paint. And then what you do, you put layer after layer after layer after layer. And whenever you want a dark spot, you're just gonna put more layers on that dark spot. Whenever you want a light spot, you only put one or two layers on that spot. You know, once the whole thing is finished, you will look much more bright and vivid. Number three, I would say because you get the range of 125, uh, 250 and 500 millimeters uh, bottles. And they have a new system, I would call it. You can open the bottle and you can close it basically with one hand. So you just pull it off and then you put it on. So if you're working, you have brushes on one hand, you don't have to stop working. You can just keep painting while you refill your palette. It's different from the others brands that I use and it's better actually.